real life is that there are narco traffic there too and it's very powerful there. It's like the center of the narco traffic of the cartel of Sinaloa. Morning, the time is 7.29. I'm absolutely shattered, but there's no way I am getting in that shower. It was the coldest shower ever, but after- Is it just not hot at all? No, it's just freezing cold, but after the night you've put us through, your punishment should be that shower. Why? Five minutes turns out, snores like, um, it sounded like a train going through. <laughs> But, um, so I got zero sleep. So um, Simon will have to have a revenge placed upon him at some point on this trip. Harold always a shower like me. Refreshing, like a rejuvenating spring. My snore is not that bad, is it? Simon, it yeah. is probably. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. <laughs> I second that motion. <sighs> when are we making a move? Now, like now. We're leaving the room. All right, let's go. Back in the front, the navigator. All good? All good. So, next stop, Guadalajara, yeah? You want me to navigate us safely there? Come on, Harold, what is the ETA for Guadalajara? Uh, 90 minutes. Right, let's make a start. It is getting hot now. Honestly, the more west you go from Mexico City, the hotter it's getting. We've just stopped to figure out where's the best place tonight. And where we're gonna aim to stay tonight is Mazatlan, and that's in Sinaloa. It's not the capital. I think it's like two or three hours south of Culiacan. So it's gonna be interesting to see what Sinaloa is like. Sinaloa has got the biggest cartel in the world. Obviously, it was headed by El Chapo, who was caught. He was actually born in Culiacan, where we're heading to. But apparently, Sinaloa cartel has got 10,000 and foot soldiers, which is just insane. So far, being honest, I have felt a bit uneasy at times, like especially with a big military presence and going into small towns, but Mexico is a beautiful country. In fact, I'll show you what it actually looks like. As you can see, it's a lot of green, you know, big mountains and stuff. I thought it was gonna be more like desert and stuff and cactuses, but to be honest, so far it's just been all jungle and really green. You've even got, I don't even know if this is abandoned. Is it abandoned? Yeah, I think it is. All right, I'm gonna head back in the car. Bald and Harold have started walking down that road because apparently you can get beers at the end. So let's go and catch up with them. Right, where are they? Oh, they bite you. Are you jumping in or what? Are you jumping in? Where's the beer? Do you wanna jump in and I'll drive there or? I'll meet you there then, yeah? Where the hell are we pulling up here now? I think it's here, is it? This looks pretty sketch. I can't see any beers down here. It's like a gas station there. God knows what that is. That doesn't look like a beer place. It looks like a scrapyard. Right, I'm just swinging it round. Right, where are these now? Because there ain't no beers down here. Mate, there's nothing there. We were told there was a... Um... Mate, trust me, there's nothing there. There's like a scrapyard. We'll drive down and have a look. Yeah, we'll drive down. Are you sure it's safe down here? No. The woman was right. We found the beer shop. I'm not sure it's safe, but... It's definitely not safe. Simon's world. Look where we are here. Yeah. We're just down like back alleys. Yeah, are this you is... sure this sells beers? This is how you buy beer in this country. Right, I don't know how I feel about this, but we're soon going to find out. The Modelo. Oh, no, I'm all good, thank you. I'm driving, aren't I? You got a cold beer? I got a cold beer. Do you have cold Coca-Cola? The best beer in Mexico. Numero uno. Oh, gracias. Oh, wow, I could do with this now. That's very proper, hot. Proper science one. Very hot. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Good find. Cheers. Gracias, adios. Right, we are back on the main road. Harold, good find that, mate. I'll give you that one. It begs the question, though, why would you not just sell the beer next to the road? There's no sign saying, you know, yeah. turn left for beers. It was a bit strange. It was a bit sketchy but, as well, uh, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, but interesting. Right, next stop, Mazatlan.
we're coming up to the border of Sinaloa now. Do you think there'll be a sign, like a welcome sign or something? Welcome to the wonderful estate of Sinaloa. Like the Hollywood sign of Sinaloa, I don't know, let's see, so. There we go, here's the sign, El Estado Sinaloa. Oh, and we've made it. Two days from Mexico City, Principa, Sinaloa. And this is what the entrance to Sinaloa looks like. Not anything in sight, just green. I don't even know if you can see in the camera, but in the distance over there and all around is the mountains of Sinaloa. This Nissan Micra has made it to Estado de Sinaloa. It's done us proud, isn't it? It's got us too soon, but will it get it out of Sinaloa? As soon as we saw the signs of Sinaloa, we got back in the car. Then after that, we went through a massive checkpoint. I don't know if you can see it behind me. It's like a federal checkpoint. Checking the car, asking what we've got. Knocking the floor on the car to see if there's anything in there. Insane. Now these two are having street food. Street beer, man. You're not having food? Why not? We've got no appetite. We're too afraid. Because the hot dog stands is, you know, <laughs> the expositos, they're out of hot dogs. Harold, I'm surprised you're not getting anything. I don't know what it is. I'm just not a big fan of street food. Well, I am a fan of street food I like trying different things but I don't know when you stop at these like truck stops and like side places where they cook it on the street these two absolutely love it though to be fair though I bet that street food's actually better than McDonald's isn't it I bet it tastes better than McDonald's <laughs> I, oh, I don't know if I'll agree on that one, mate. I am now a Sinaloan, an honorary member of the cartel, and so I refuse to eat anything apart from Sinaloan food. <laughs> Let's get out of here before they kill us. We have arrived in Mazatlan. First impressions, it's like a sort of a holiday resort. Seems safe here, doesn't it? I mean, it's hard to believe that we're in the Sinaloa that we've been told about. Yeah. It just, it's, a, it's a beach resort. Hotels, restaurants. There seems to be touristy. I didn't think it would be like a tourist place. Who knew that Sinaloa was a tourist destination? So far, we have done 12 hours in the car and we are now finally at the sea. Oh, wow, look how busy it is here. What do you think, Harold? I'm a lost for words, so you know, what a place to come and have a band competition. When you thought of Sinaloa, did you think of brass bands and a beautiful beach? I know, look at that. I've just realised I'm on the beach in a poncho. <laughs> yes, that's I'm getting some it. weird looks <laughs> here. And let's not forget about my bow tie as well. Do you know what though, when I thought of Sinaloa, I did not expect to see beaches like this. This beach is absolutely booming. Everybody's having a whale of a time. Have Coca-Cola. Is that some kind of Mexican? Yeah, I'm just tasting the Mexican cuisine. Oh, nice. Respect. <laughs> Gracias. Do you speak English? A little bit. A little bit. So do you live in Mazatlan? Where do you live? Oh, I'm on vacation. I'm traveling. Oh, you're on vacation. Yeah. Where from? Uh, we live in Kansas City, Kansas. Do you come here a lot? No, it's my first time here. Ah, what do you think of it? It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Is it dangerous around here at all? I don't know. It doesn't look like it, does it? Yeah, my first time as well. But obviously you hear like bad things and stuff. But my husband family, they say, oh no, 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 it's so dangerous for their kids. They come. Really? We have in the United States. Yeah. So far though, I haven't felt dangerous at all. It seems really fun, doesn't it? It's lovely to meet you anyway. Lovely. Gracias. Have a good one. Harold, what on earth is this? It's a Topo Loco. Wow. Can I try some Topo yes. Loco? I'm taking my Topo Loco virginity. Let's go for it. <laughs> 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 Why is he hating me with a Topo Loco? <laughs> well, give me one. Is it that bad? Have you seen the state of this? Oh. <laughs> I just can't do it. How do you eat that? Easily. Open your mouth, put it in, swallow. I know, but it looks nasty. I mean, when the guy was putting the prawns in, there was like flies all over it. I hope you're lying. I swear down. If I get sick because of Harold Baldur's Topo Loco, <laughs> <laughs> How are you finding the beach, mate? I mean, who could have expected this in Sinaloa? I know. We're obviously being led to believe by our mass media what it is. We don't see the good side, just the bad side. I mean, come here and people are friendly, the food's good, the beach is lovely, the weather's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Sinaloa for the win so far. But tomorrow, we're going to Culiacan, the headquarters of the Cartel. 
So Simon, first night in Sinaloa, Yeah. what do you think about it? It's not what I expected at all, to be honest. What did you expect? I expected it to be more sort of like shady and sort of like, and especially when we saw like the military build up between like Guadalajara and here. But to be honest, you get here, you know, the vibe compared to Guadalajara is so nice, isn't it? People are just having fun. It's almost like it's more chilled out here than it was back where we, it's as if we've gone the other way around rather than coming into yeah. Sinaloa. Here's a question for you. Yeah. Do you think Culiacan's going to be more dangerous than here? Or do you reckon it's going to be chilled as well? I think that Culiacan is more of a cartel city than here. This is obviously a tourist city, you look around, you yeah. see it, but Culiacan is, um, I think, a different kettle of fish. But with these biceps, I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, mate, do you know what? I was thinking exactly the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Harold, how's your coconut, mate? Eh? Oh, it's great. Do you want to have a, have a shrimp? Do you fancy a blood mango? Some uh, residue of a the intestines of a coconut? No, I think I'll leave that, to be honest, mate. We're going for a cheeseburger and chips, or what? No, we're going for four cheeseburgers. <laughs> Check these cars out. We go in. Oh my god, check this out. Is this even a car or have you just. This is a Ferrari Volkswagen, eh? It's a Volkswagen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Right, let's get going. Bit of a wild car, this, isn't it? You suit it though, mate. I know I do. I left that cool in it. I'm with my Amico. Oh, wow. What is that? This is what the strip looks like in Mazatlan. Lollipop Club. Uh, that might be a bit dodgy. Egyptian Massage. Wings Army. HSBC. Starbucks. Casino. That's a pretty big casino. Domino's, we need to get a pizza. Let's go for it. We just need to find the Golden Arches, Harold, and we'll be sorted. Oh, look at that. Look at there. The Golden Arches. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. I wanted to try McDonald's street food. Should we get him to drop us off outside McDonald's? Before are you coming back in or are you not? Uh, oh yeah, we'll come back. Let's go to McDonald's. Bald and Harold are in the shop behind me. They've just gone to get some beers. Thank you for the ride. Hello, hi, what hi, what hi. is your name? Uh, Felipe, amigo, Felipe. Felipe. Felipe, Simon, nice to meet you. Are you from Mazatlan, Felipe? Yes, no, I'm from, Mazatlan. from Mazatlan. Nice place. Yeah, nice and fun. Yeah. How long have you been driving this car? Three, four. four years. Three, four. Is Mazatlan busy at the moment or is it quiet? Busy, amigos, yeah. busy. So, you know, with coronavirus, is it busy now or busy before? or? Busy before, amigos, before. Uh, the same. The same. Gracias. Yes, amigo. What the hell is this? There is 1.2 liter Pacifico. Pacifico. From this city, Mazatlan, Sinaloa. 1.3 liters. 1.2. Has anybody got a bottle opener? Yeah, yeah. both teeth. You don't open it with your teeth. You does. Yeah. You madman. Gracias. I did not think I'd be in Sinaloa in this mad car drinking Sinaloa Where's beer. The car man? How is it any good? It's a mad car. Yeah, it's an awesome car. It is a mad car. Look at it. And then now he wants us out. Felipe, muchas gracias. If you don't mind me asking, is Mazatlan dangerous or is it safe? Or? No, bro, it's the safest place in there. I like to think that the narco traffic is just another enterprise. They also protect the society because they, yeah. because they want everything it's called. They don't want any trouble or anything no, like no, that. No, no, no. They, they don't want any trouble because they are people too. The people here is good. You can drink with anyone. That's amazing to hear, man. Yeah, exactly. I like just walking on the beach though. You get that vibe. You can come here and enjoy of the sun, enjoy of the water, yeah. of the nature of the people, and and that's that's why the people from here yeah. is so lovely because they truly understand what life means. Yeah, hundred percent, man. And that, do you know what? That's the beauty of traveling. That you know, like you say, you hear things in the media. You come here, you meet the people, you see what the beach is like. Yeah. And it's just not what people think, is it? People, let me tell you a message. Don't believe in all what media says. They want you to believe in something, in something that is not real. The real things are in the, in the vlog of Simon, because Simon is filming the real stuff. We're heading to Kulyakan tomorrow. What's yes. Kulyakan like? Well, Kulyakan is a really amazing place. It's yeah. really beautiful. The people there is lovely too. But real life is that there are narco traffic there too, and it's very powerful there. It's like the center of the narco traffic of the cartel of Sinaloa. So does the ca Sinaloa cartel run Sinaloa? Run I like Sinaloa, run and Sinaloa and other places in the in Mexico really? in the world. Is there a you lot know? of like deaths and stuff around here? Talking really? about the violence stuff, it's a real stuff, yeah. They have guns, yes. Well, they're just in the street and stuff like that. Have you ever had any bad experiences with like narco stuff? Well, once I was going out from a party and a uh, black Truck uh, yeah. turn on uh, lights as a, as a police light, yeah. and we believe that 
there were police and they were narcos. They pulled out big guns and they take took us from the car. They oh wow! Took us to a wall, made us make us like put on my on, on our knees. They start to to check you. Pulling, yeah, to check us. You know, I'm alive, but they start to saying that they were looking for someone. We were not the people that they were looking for. Yeah, exactly. They just let you go. Yeah, they took our money. Or, they took all your money yeah, and stuff. Cell phones. Jeez. Bro, but, but, bro, At least you're still standing yeah, here. Exactly. That's the main it's thing. Something material, you know. Yeah, exactly. Isaac, pleasure, mate. Look after yourself and keep yeah, in touch. Course, pleasure catching up, man. Yeah. People, love. I love Mexico. Please come to Mexico. Don't believe in media. <laughs> Viva Mexico. Viva Mexico. Love. Isaac, have a good one, mate. See you later. Right, I've got a question for you both. What's that? Why is it yep. only me yep. has kept my Mexican heritage? Where's yours, guys? That's true. Where's yours, guys? Okay, okay. You, you do dress to impress, you know. Uh, I can't say that I yeah. do, or that bold. I've kept the Mexican heritage. Bold was left in charge of booking a hotel tonight, and he has booked us, wait for it, the quality in. What is all that about? I've never had a shower coming into a hotel before. Harold, what do you think of Bold's choice booking a quality inn? You know, Bold is uh, not exactly known as a man of great taste when it comes to food or hotels or pretty much anything. You and I, we can find proper accommodation tomorrow. We will be. But for tonight, okay, this will have to do. Yeah, exactly. Right, I'm hitting the deck, mate. Have a good one. You off? Yeah. Good night. Good driving. Have a good one, mate. See you later. See you tomorrow. Get an early one. I'll give you a knock in the morning. All right, mate. See you later. Oh, I am shattered. All that driving, and I've just actually realised, driving across now to the West Coast, we've actually gone back an hour as well. So, ugh. I genuinely still think I'm jet lagged. My body clock's all over the place. Top, top day though. Really enjoyed it. Mexico's a beautiful place. The people are great as well. And yeah, it's just amazing to be in Sinaloa, to be honest, but it's surreal. The next stop is Culiacan. I think I said that right. That is the largest and the capital city of Sinaloa. The drive is like three hours north. So it's going to be interesting, especially cross country. And Culiacan is where it all happens. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, I'm going to get a good kip. Have a good one and I'll catch you soon.